Hi, I'm Mira from Floric Mira. Today's class is a full body math class. The class is inspired by um, my mentor, Ryle Asakowitz, as well as Sherry Long. I've been taking some of their online classes recently. So yeah, today's class will be sort of taken a lot from the classes they've taken recently. Um, it will be intermediate to advanced level class. So when you're ready, let's come and join me on a mat. So we're going to start lying on our back. So find your supine position. All right, feet are in parallel position. Now, let's just take a moment and assess our body. How's the body feeling today? Where do you feel a little stiff? Perhaps a little stiff in the lower back, upper back? tightness in the neck, just observe and assess it. Now, let's bring our focus to our feet, making sure our feet are in a parallel position, and then sort of sipping the toes into the floor and lifting the energy of the arch of the feet up to your legs. And then we assess our pelvis. How is it feeling today? A little stiff, a little sore, maybe. And then making sure that we are in our neutral pelvis position, whatever that is for you today. Our lower back is uh, sort of lifting off the floor. And our back, upper back, settling down to the ground. The neck is floating. And then a little wiggle, wriggling the neck just to see that your neck is nice and soft. All right, arms are reaching to the floor, not to the floor, to your feet. We inhale. Now as we exhale, recruit your abdominal. Now let's go to your pelvic curl. So we bring the lower back down to the floor and then we recruit the abdominal deeper as we peel the spine up to that bridging position. As you go up, take a time and observe any part of the spine feeling a little stiff, a little tender perhaps, and just stay up here at the top. Now can we do a little deeper assessment? Press the arms down. Can we curl that tailbone up a little bit more to give a little height on that pelvis? Can we press the end of the shoulder blades down? Not the shoulder blades, the tip of the shoulders out to the side and down to the floor. Inhale. Exhale, using the abdominal, we're going to articulate and stretch that spinal column, vertebra by vertebra down to the neutral pelvis position for you today. In breath. Exhale, deepening the lower abs. Really try to lengthen that tailbone, the lower spine down to the floor. I feel like someone's pulling my tailbone out and up. And then I'm, I'm still recruiting my abdominal. I'm gonna use my hamstring to peel my spine off the floor. And then I'm gonna finish up that pelvis lift with my glute. Still thinking about my inner thighs. And I exhale and I roll back down. Again, stretch the lower spine down to the floor and back to that neutral position. I'm feeling a little stiff in my lower back today. In breath. So can I work it out? Perhaps I can. Let's just go roll it back. Roll up, deep scoop in the abs. Lifting up to the bridging position. In breath. Exhale, I'm trying to think about reaching my head away from the shoulder as I use my abdominal to stretch my spine away towards my tailbone. And release back. Let's do it one more time because it feels so good. Exhale, because I need it. We roll back up. All right, assess the spine. First movement of the class. In breath. Exhale, lengthening away, lengthening away. 
lengthening away and lengthening deeper. I feel like I really need to go into deeper spinal posterior tilt to get my kink out of my lower back. All right, and release back to neutral. Let's float the arms up to the sky. Anchor the two ends of the shoulders down without splaying the ribs out. Connect the lower, sorry, the top half of the abdominal into the spine. Now, leg lift. Right leg up to tabletop. Lower down from the hip. Exhale. And down. Moving from the hip joint. Lowering the thigh down. And then up. And Really trying to hug that center, recruiting the TVA muscles, the deep corset muscle in the abdominal. Stabilize the pelvis. And two more, we lift. Last one, lift and lower. Now other leg, breathe out. Stabilize the pelvis, then I lift my leg up. We lower, we exhale. We we'll lower, we exhale. I'd like to invite you to be really sensitive about the pelvis placement. Can we really, really, really keep it nice and stable and anchor in the middle while we move the leg up and down? We we'll lift, lower, two more, lower. Last one, and hold that, hold that tabletop position Moving to our leg changes. We breathe out, switching. We switch. We switch. I'm imagining if I have a cup of tea resting on top of the, my pelvis, in front of my pelvis, can I keep that cup of tea nice and still while I'm moving my leg up and down? Exhale. Two more sets. Last set. Both legs up to tabletop, squeezing the inner thighs, and then turn the palms towards your thigh. And let's take your arms overhead here. Now, lengthening our rib cage down towards the pelvis, so we engage in the upper abdominal to the hundreds prep. We breathe out, we melt that lower spine down to the floor. We lift high while we're reaching the arms forward. Lifting the arms up and return back. Again, exhale, deep scoop in the lower abs towards the spine. Arms up forward, lifting the arms up. As you lift the arms up, I want you to think about lifting higher off the ground and return. Exhale, we lift. Then lifting up, up to the sky and return. And last one, let's stay in this hundreds preposition, squeezing the thighs nice together, we lower, tap. We lift, we lower, tap. We lift, we lower tap, we lower tap, two more, last one, we stay, lift the arms up, hold, and open our arms out to the side, for spine twist to spine, towards me, as we inhale, rotate from the waistline, exhale, Center. Inhale, anchoring the shoulders down to the floor as we twist. Exhale, moving the legs together as one unit, whereas if you have only have one leg. And in breath. Exhale, in breath. Control. And in breath. One more each side, inhale. And the last one, in breath. Let's take our arms overhead here. 
We exhale. I like you to lift up and I like you to reach the arms up over your knees. Now, this is inspired by Sherry Longs. So I'm calling it Sherry Rainbow's Chest with Rotation. Now, lift high. As you breathe out, rotate to your right. Up over the rainbow, over the knees, over to the left. And up over the knees, over towards me. And lift. And to the other side. And lift. And over. And lift. And down. And lift. And over. And lift. So, I like you to really try to lift that spine a little bit more off the floor as you lift. And then over to the side. Lifting up and over to the side and lifting up and keep the gaze with the hands and stabilize the pelvis we move from the waistline and the last one over to you back to the center and arms up to the sky and lower the head and the arms down in breath on to our hundreds exhale we lift and extend the legs to appropriate high for you. Lift up high as the in breath and we exhale. And and three and four and five. Six, seven, eight, nine, last ten. We hold, drawing the knees in, lower both feet down, stretch your legs one. Stretch the legs two, turn the palms facing to the thighs, take your arms up to the sky, and release the arms overhead for our first roll up of the day. We inhale, we lift, hug those thighs in, exhale, we lift up, over, over, over. Let's stay here and inhale. I like you to find a little bit more length in that C curve. Then as you exhale, pull back in the lower abs. Pull back and reaching the feet forward. Sacrum down to the floor and arms overhead. Inhaling, lift. Exhaling, up, over. Pull back in the abs as you come up and over with the spine. Inhaling, find length in the spine. Exhaling, start from the tailbone, curling the sacrum down to the floor, and then overhead. Inhale, lift. Exhale, up, over, over, over. Pull back in the abs behind you. And exhale, roll back, roll back, roll back. Overhead, last one. Inhale, lifting high. Exhale, pull in and up and over. And now from here, I like it to lift the back to a tall, flat, upright position and take your arms with you. Reach up high as you in breath. And then exhale, we roll back again. Take yourself all the way down and arms overhead arms to the t position drawing the knees in taking the legs up to the tabletop now from here curl up to the tabletop position for the double leg stretch now pulling in tight in the abs we inhale reach exhale Track it. We inhale, reach. Exhale, track. We inhale, reach. Exhale, 
Inhale. Exhale. And two more. Exhale. And last one. Exhale, stay. Now from here, lift the arms up. Lower the feet down. Take the arms to the side. Curl up. Roll this up. 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 Sitting nice and tall. Now, curl this up, up and over. Grab this shin. Pull in the toes or the heels towards the sitting bone and the sitting bone to the heels for rolling like a ball. So, high, nice and tall, high C curve or long C curve. And we inhale, we roll back. Exhale. Inhale, we roll back. Exhale, inhale, exhale, in breath, exhale, two more. Can we use our arms a little bit more so we can hold the legs together, keeping the shape of the body constant as you roll back and forth. Two more. I said two more, two more, twice before. And let's go again one more time. Excellent counting from me. Brilliant. All right, lifting up the spine. Activate the back extensors. Drawing tall. All right, place the feet down. Arms up forward, pull back. Round yourself all the way down. Take your arms up to the sky. I'd like you to stretch the leg away from me and then lift the leg closer to me up to tabletop. And then straighten up to the sky, dorsiflex. Leg circle across the body and down. Inhale, exhale, stay parallel. Exhale, and exhale, last set. Exhale, and stay, other way. Inhale, exhale, two, inhale, three, exhale, four. Inhale, five. Exhale, six. Inhale, seven. Last one, eight. And stay. Point the foot. Lift the other leg up. Straight up to the sky. And then lower the first leg down. And dorsiflex the foot. Again, across. In breath. And exhale. In breath. And. And in down. Exhale. And in breath. And stay. Reverse. In breath. And two. And three. And four. And five. And six. Two more. Seven. And an eight. Take it up. Point the foot. Bring the other leg up. And we bend the knees. Hands on the knees. Curl up. Lift the hand the chest up. Use the bicep, help yourself a little higher off the ground. Single leg stretch. Stretch the leg away from me, forward in front of you. Come up a little higher and we change. Exhale. Two more sets. Last set, stay. Now I'd like you to reach the arms up in front of you and curl forward. We're going to the crisscross with that cherry long rainbow arms. Now we go up and over towards me. And as we switch, lift up and turn. Lift up and turn. Lift up and twist. Lift up and twist. Lift. Lift, 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 last set, last one, come back to center, hold, arms up to the sky, over to the side, lower the feet, roll up, 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 lift the back, then we roll back again, we curl back, curl back, 
curl back. And now bring both legs up to tabletop, stretch the legs up to the sky. Hamstring pull, one, two, three. Now lower the leg away from me. The other one comes up, this is my right leg. And we go, exhale, shh, shh. We switch, shh, shh. And switch, shh, shh. Shh, shh. Shh, shh. Shh, shh. Shh, shh. Shh, shh. Last set, shh. Now, hamstring pull two, hands behind the head, and last set, and number three, let's go with the Sherry's long rainbow arms pull, and and Lift and over, and last set, last one, both legs are up, hands behind the thigh, can we lift the chest a little higher, 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 arms long by the side, and we go lower both legs down, and up. And lower. And up. And lower. And up. Three more. Two more. Last one. Hold. Head down. Arms down. Bending the knees. Ready for a rollover. We stretch the legs up to the sky, roll over, dorsiflex the fit, separate them, press the toes down to the floor, lift the pelvis a little higher, perhaps, and let's roll it back. Arms are active, pressing down to the floor, pelvis down, point the feet, legs away, together, and up. Exhale, flex, separate, and lower. And roll back, bottom down, point, legs away, together, and up. roll over. We flex, separate, we lower, then we roll back. And planta away together, last one, and up. My triceps are working hard here to anchor my whole body. Flex, out, lower. Then I'm reaching my fingertips away so my tricep can be a little bit more activated. And then I settle my pelvis down. I point my feet away together. Bring the legs in. One leg down, second leg down. Parallel feet. For our shoulder bridge, inhaling, exhale, abdominal, abdominal, hamstring to lift up, come right up to your bridging position. All right, now, now you have that nice stretch in the front of your body. Let's go, press the left foot down, take the right leg straight up to the sky. And we go down, inhale. Exhale, inhale, exhale, exhale, and three, two, one, and up. We point, lift up a little bit more. We bend, lower the foot, reestablish the pelvis position, anchor the right foot down, then we lift the left leg, get the leg up, which is my left leg here. And we go, and three, and and six, two more, last one, we go up, we point, we press the arms, lift the pelvis up higher, we bend the knee, take the foot down, reestablish the pelvis position, then 
We're going to roll, stretching the spine, vertebrae by vertebrae, feeling the last stretch in the tailbone, in the sacrum. All right, stretch the legs along on the floor. Arms overhead for another roll up. Inhale. Exhale. Lift up, lift up, lift up, and stack the spine. Right spine stretch, please. So just adjust yourself on a mat and have your feet slightly wider than the pelvis. If not, as wide as the pelvis. Now, find that length in the spine, even if you have to bend the knees, yeah? Dorsiflex the feet, exhale. We roll down, articulating, take your body down and forward. Now get a little bit more of that sort of stretch. Tip forward a little bit more perhaps. Go beyond where you normally go. In breath. Exhale. Roll up. And up tall. And exhale. Roll down. And go forward. Inhale. Can we stretch forward a little bit further? Exhale, roll back up and upright. Again, exhale, roll down and forward, 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 in breath. Exhale, roll up and upright. Last one, exhale, roll down and forward. Inhale, I'm gonna give myself a little bit more of a stretch here. Maybe you can do that too. And exhale, roll up. And upright, open arms out to T position for our saw. We rotate and arms and hinge. And then back arm to the side. We open and center and we twist. Arm and then hinge and lift up center and a twist arms and hinge and out open center twist arm and hinge and up open center last twist arm hinge forward and arm side center last one twist Arm and hinge forward and arm side. Well done and less. Let's go to our quadruped position. Right, stack the heel of the palm and the shoulder and the knee and the center of your hip. Inhale, pushing off the floor. Exhale as we flex our spine. On through neutral, we're doing cat stretch and up in the upper back and pushing off the floor, rounding through neutral and upward back arch and rounding and then through neutral, upward arch. Last one, we flat. And flatten and arch and center. I like you to stretch the leg closer to me out to the side here. Now, keeping the other hip aligned with the knee, let's take the opposite arm out to the side. A little fancy trader needle stretch here. So, we're gonna loop the arm through underneath and then we're gonna stretch the arm. To the opposite side, the other side, and find that twist. And if that's available to you, you can take the other arm overhead. We stay here in breath. And exhale. One more, in breath. And exhale. Bring the top one back in and push off the floor. And then we've got the other arm. Same arm, same leg here. We bring the arm through underneath the shoulder and reach out in opposite direction, guarding that the hip doesn't actually 
drop out to the side. Now I'm going to pull away. And then take the other arm out overhead and find that stretch. Inhale, reach up, reach across. Exhale. And let's take the top arm back. Push off the floor. Return the arm, return the leg, other side. Stretch the leg out to the side. Opposite arm. And rotate the trunk. And loop the arms through on the floor. And if that's available to you, you can stretch the other arm up overhead. In breath. Exhale. Reach out. Exhale. Arm back in. Push off. Bring it in. Same arm, same leg. Out. And rotate across. And then other arm overhead. And then again, making sure that you don't drop over to that supporting side. Reach your arms away as you inhale. Exhale. Take an in breath. Exhale, taking the arm in. Other one in. Bring the leg in. Tuck the toes under. Stretch the bottom out. Onto the up stretch. Pressing the outer armpit down to the floor, lengthen the seating bone up to the sky. And then maybe lower the heels down. Reach the heels. Get that really nice stretch at the back of the leg. Inhale, find length. Head between the arms. Exhale, find your center. And go ahead and bend the knees. Transfer yourself onto the floor to a prone position. Arms long to the side. Head is floating off the floor. Inhale as you reach the arms. Find the upper back to lift you up. Keeping the neck nice and long here. Exhale. Return. Inhale. Lengthening the tailbone, the sitting bone towards the feet. And lift the abdominal off as you lift the upper back up. Exhale. Again, inhale. Exhale. Last one, inhale. We hold that extension. Open your arms to a T position. Turn the thumbs up to the sky. Now from here, squeeze the shoulder blade to each other and you lift the arms up and separate them. And lift and separate and lift and out, and lift, and out, and lift. Three more, two more. Last one, lift. Now, turn the palms to your thigh, bring your arms by the side of your thigh, and lower the chest down. Bend the elbows, bring the forearm down. Let's move on to our breast stroke here. So, we're going to lift the upper back, so soft press, of the arms as you lift the back here. And you lift the forearm. You stretch the arms long. Open the arms to the side. Bend the elbows and lower everything down. And lifting the upper back. Lifting the arm. Reach forward. Open. Bend. We lower, anchor the feet, lifting the upper back, lifting the arm, reach, out, back, and lower. Last one, lifting the upper back, lifting the arm. We stretch the arms forward, we open to the side, we bend the elbows, we lower. We push the body up off the floor, pull the belly onto a quick rest position. Tuck the toes under again. Then come up into your upstretch position. Okay, send the pelvis long, send the tailbone out. I'd like you to keep the leg closer to me down on the floor and lift the other leg up off the floor for your arabesque. Reach up. And just stay here. 
Try to drop that hip down to the floor so the pelvis is square. We in breath. Exhale. One more in breath. Exhale. Now lower the foot down. And let's lift the other leg. And we lift, reach out and square the pelvis by dropping that hip down. And keep that hip extension, head between the arms. We push off the floor with the arm. We stay. Lift, exhale. Find length from the toes to the tip of the head and vice versa. And, all right, and then bring the leg down. And now bring the knees down and come up and face me. Let's go for the side kick kneeling. How are you going? All right. Arms out to the sky here, to the sky, to the side. Lifting up to your center. Let's go over to your right first. So we inhale as we take yourself down. Hand behind the head, stretch the leg away. Push yourself towards that leg. And dorsiflex, here we go. And, and, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, two more, nine, last one, back, back to center, place the foot down, now transfer the weight to the top leg, bring the bottom one to the back, reach out, side bend, down, and up. Arch over, and back, and down, and left, and arch over, and back. Two more, down, and left, and arch over, and back. Last one, and left, and over, and back. Bring the bottom knee in. And then come up, a quick stretch. And out, bring the leg in. Other side, let's go. To your left, and hand, we extend. Pull the way, and we go. Exhale. Three. Four. Five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And side, place the foot down, arm up, transfer the leg, and side bend down. We lift. Back, side over. Whoa, almost lost myself there. Up, and then back. And left, and side, back, and up, and down. Two more, left, side, back, and up. Last one, left, and side, back, and back, and come down. Now we come up again, we hold, take the bottom knee in, bring yourself up. And a quick side stretch. And bring it in. All right, let's sit down on the floor again. Okay. Right, let's go to your open leg rocker. Grab the ankles. Grab the ankles. All right, bouncing on the tailbone. Lift the legs. And let's stretch those legs out. Find your back extensors and find your lats muscle. Press that shoulder blades. Sort of outward, head and downward. Neck is long. And we're ready. Inhale, we round. And exhale, we lift. Inhale, round. Exhale, we lift. Inhale, round. Exhale, we lift. Inhale. And lift. And in breath. And lift. Can I lift? 
Yes, I can. And again, two more. And last one. And let's stay up here. Legs together. Time for the teaser. It's not an advanced class. We don't put a teaser in, don't we? So arms are forward. Arms to the sky. Teaser one. We roll back. And in lift. So let's do four teaser one. Four teaser two. And over. We lift. And reach. And three, and over. We lift, and up. Last one, and over. We lift, and up. Hold it up, we lower. Lift, two, three, these are two. Last, let's do one more. We hold, lower. Bend the knees, hands in front of you. Transfer your weight again. Let's go down to the floor. Okay, let's go to the highest one here. So, extending the legs, stretch that hip flexors. We inhale, go into that thoracic extension. Use the arms, come up to your full high one. And, you know, you don't have to fully extend the arms if the back is not available for you today. So go to your maximum extension today. Inhale. Listen to your body. Assess it. And exhale. Reach up. And elbows. And down. Two more. Inhale. And exhale. And come back. Let's see if you can do it in all inhalation. I broke the breathing in half. So we're going to inhale. Take it all the way up. Better. Exhale. Come down. So one more time. Long inhalation. Take it all the way up. And exhale. All the way down. Excellent. Stretch your legs together. Off the floor. Rocking prep. Arms up to the side. Bending the knees. Grab the ankles. Okay. And here we go for the rocking prep. We inhale. Hip extension. Back extension. Knee extension. More hip extension. Everything extend up to the sky. And exhale. And down. Again. Inhale. Lifting, lifting more, lifting higher, and come down two more times, and inhale, lift, work those hamstrings, work those glutes, and exhale, last one, in breath, hip extension, back extension, knee extension, more hip extension, more back extension, more everything extend up and come on down and release. Well done. Arms, pull arms to the side of your shoulder. Use your abdominal, push away. Round the back. Rounding, rounding, rounding. And roll up straight away. Okay. Thigh stretch. And we're done. All right. Not my favorite. But we have to work on the things that we don't like to do so we get better at it. Here we are. I'm imagining there's a table underneath my arm here, right? Pressing down into it. Then lower abs, pull up, strong in here. Then move from the knee joint. Everything stays, stay, stay. Everything comes up. And you can have a little break. And then pull up, gaze forward, power in the arms. Then we lean back, lean back, lean back. Stabilize here, coming up. Just two more times and we pull in. Lean back, lean back, lean back. And coming up, last one. And abs. 
and lean back, lean back, lean back. And we're done. Tuck the toes under, hands down. Push off, bottom up, pull upside down, parallel feet. Oh, relax the body down for a moment. Inhale, exhale. Just keep, just rest your spine on your thighs. In. In. One more. I know we feel like we're gonna roll up, but we're not. We're gonna transfer your weight on your hand. We're gonna go back onto your knees again. Relax the ankles. Release the bottom down to your heels and stretch your arms forward for our rest position. Now we need to stay in this position. You can relax your head down on the floor. Take a moment, close your eyes. Bring attention to your breath. Inhaling through the nose. And exhaling through the mouth. Now as you breathe, can we really try to expand the rib cage as much as you can? As you exhale, allow the ribcage to deflate and just listen to the music of your breath. You don't have to follow with me. I want you to listen to your own breath. Take your focus in, into your body. Keeping the closed eyes, kind of like a soft gaze internally into your eyes. Inhale. Just listen to your breath. Listen to what the breath does to your body, to your ribs, to your mind. Let yourself be taken away by the music of your breath. Don't worry about me. It's your time. I'm going to do one more breath. I'd like to invite you to stay here if you have time. Let's continue with your breath meditation. A little quick breath meditation. But I'm going to finish the class here. So I'm going to inhale. You don't have to follow me. You can stay where you are. And as I exhale, I'm going to slowly roll myself up. I'm bringing myself to an upright position. And I'm going to open my eyes. Thank you for joining me. I'll see you on the mat in another class. Congratulations on completing the class. Well done. I am Mira and I'm here to help you to look and feel your absolute best through Pilates. If you enjoyed this video, you will love my free Better Postures in 5 Days program. Click the first link in the comments and sign up. I will instantly send you a daily email with a 15 to 20 minute workout each day. This workout will work your whole body to help open, stretch and strengthen your posture. Your spine and body will love you. Don't forget to like and comment with any question you may have about Pilates. Subscribe and turn on notification so you don't miss any of my free Pilates video. See you in the next class.